So what Bob is excited about is the fact that I am just finishing up some work, I'm doing some video editing and tomorrow in the morning we are getting a ferry from New Haven to Dieppe and if you're not a geographical person Dieppe isn't in England, it's in France! So this is the beginning of our first ever European trip in Turtle. Buckle up! <laughs> We are in a bit of a storm driving to New Haven. Say hello, Mia. Strong. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to France. Bump it up. <laughs> Good morning. It's been blowing a gale all night long. We had rain on the back of the van, yeah. just keeping us up um, in a sort of cozy kind of way. If I didn't know I'm about to get on a boat. So I've got, I've got mixed feelings about this morning. Those mixed feelings are, oh my god, excited, we're going to France. Which should probably sound like, oh my god, excited, we're going to France! But, but it's still the morning. Um, and then, yeah, kind of terrified that we're not going to get on the boat at all, because the weather might cancel it. Or it might be really rocky, and I'll just be vomiting everywhere. <laughs> We've got a cup of tea. We've got a couple of hours before we need to get to the dock as well, so... I do think the wind is dying down now, but I don't know if that's hope or... <laughs> that's actually the case. <laughs> hope, hope and glory. We'll finish our tea and the wind will be gone. Yeah. just turned up at the New Haven to Dieppe port and um, right now I don't think they're letting anyone through because we're quite early but um, it's quite a nice atmosphere isn't it? There's lots of people, um, foot passengers and that kind of thing all stood around waiting with suitcases, there's some cars, vans, converted vans, professionally converted vans. It's really exciting so. Yeah we just have to work out now our next step of boarding and checking in as we're just sat in the car in a queue at the moment I assume we'll get up to a little booth and check in there yeah we've got the email print screened and everything on my phone so hopefully we're all sorted but if not someone will help us hopefully <laughs>
We have arrived in Dieppe and it's time for some arts and crafts because uh, we didn't realise that we needed um, some, some things that if you don't have it's a 135 euro or pound fine. So behind me Rob is going to put some stickers on some headlights so that we don't dazzle people in the middle of the road and I have made these. Hopefully that's the right way around for you guys. Um, when you go into Europe, you need a UK sticker on your vehicle to make sure that everyone knows who you are and where you're from. Because we didn't buy one of these stickers, we've made one for now and we're hoping that we can use like an Amazon drop-off box to get a proper one. But until then, it's Gorilla Tape and good old arts and crafts to save the day. Hello, gorgeous. Hello. Would you like to give us a highlight of your day what have we been up to it's mostly been a travel day but what have you made of it so today we woke up really early in new haven and we headed to the new haven port it takes a long time to get through the port because you need to arrive with good time to check in with good time to queue up with good time for the ferry to then arrive everyone on that ferry to unload and then you get on board so we were there for about half nine despite the ferry leaving at half eleven ish and i think it was actually 10 minutes late so longer so it was a lot of waiting around there then we got onto the ferry and i felt sick as a dog almost immediately it was about 40 knot winds and they don't let the ferry leave port if it's 45 Rob, on the other hand, was absolutely fine for most of it, so that was amazing because he could be my light support vehicle. Finally, we are here. Our park for night for the evening, which is a nice, quiet, forested area, and it's really quiet and lovely. And it is so strange that we've got all the blinds shut, and we kind of feel like, are we, are we in England still? Are we in France now? So I, I think it will dawn on us that we're in France when we wake up tomorrow morning we actually have like the energy a good night's sleep some good meals in us to actually appreciate what we have just done and achieved because this is huge good morning we have woken up in our park up it's really quite pretty here we're planning on going for a little walk I think is our plan and then we're going to be driving off somewhere between where we are and Amiens, yeah. Neuf Chateau de Bay. Before that, Before that, we're filling some French baguette with yummy things. We've got lettuce, we've got tomatoes, we've got... This feels harsh because I feel like you should be on camera showing your amazing creation. Oh, we have lettuce, tomatoes going in a baguette with some mayo. And we're making it a BLT, the tea. It should be like a TLT because it's tofu, lettuce, tomato. But we've cooked the tofu in loads of salt and paprika to try and make it like a bacony type thing to make a BLT. We're going to have that on the road. It's going to be scrummo. <laughs> anyway, rather than filming, we should probably be prepping and getting this bad boy on the road because we're good to go. Ooh, out there. That's exciting. Today we have woken up um, nice and slowly because we have nowhere that we have to be. Later on, as we've said, we're going to Neufchatel and right now we are just beginning our woodland walk. It's a bit frosty this morning, it's a bit chilly, so um, cosy hats, cosy hats have come out, so that's very exciting. But um, so far this walk is looking absolutely beautiful. It feels almost like summer on the top because all the leaves are still quite green but then autumn on the bottom because there's just this carpet of orange leaves and it's quite lovely. We were just looking at all trails and we discovered that there was like these ruins around us so we thought that we'd go check it out 
So just behind us, we've got all these like old ruins. I think there's a moat. I think that's what this dip just behind me is. Um, but it looks absolutely awesome. So we thought we should show you guys it and have an adventure and explore around it because French ruins is not something that two English people get to explore every day. <laughs> journey into the unknown into France and we will catch you in the next adventure. <laughs>